Alrighty folks, the controller versus mouse and keyboard debate is raging in the Warzone community right now, specifically when it comes to aim assist on controller. Is it too much of an advantage? Some people think it's soft aimbot, which it most certainly is not, but I am going to play a couple games with aim assist disabled, see how we play and give you some honest thoughts in gameplay. Okay, so as we're loading up into this game, I am going to turn off aim assist for you. So you can see there's no funny business going on. I always play on standard. I've, I've never really messed about with precision or focusing. But for this game, it's been disabled and we are officially in no aim assist territory. That is a fantastic circle for this experiment. Hopefully downtown is semi-active as well because I want to I want to try and get into some some gunfights. I'm not really interested about winning. I don't think winning really proves anything because I could just camp for the victory. But getting into gunfights and killing enemies, that will show what we're made of. Somebody's right there. And they are dead. I mean, you probably could already tell there that that was... The, the shots were just, like, slightly off. Not by much, just a little bit. This is mega risky here. Just flying in and getting involved in this third party. You guys are right here. Oh, shit. No, no. Wait. Oh, my God. I picked that for a second. Oh, my God. He's getting ripped apart. I need to move. I became the... <laughs> I was the third party and then a fourth party got involved. They're on the floor above me. This is it. This is kind of the start I wanted, though, not gonna lie. Tango. Whoa, no way. Whoa, 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 whoa. How? Did they just pop a UAV or something? Right, that player below me is getting... Getting fought. Oh, shit, there's somebody right here as well. Oh, my... <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. We missed our shots. I'm not going to show any, any like, bias here either, be. He's need to see that. That was, that was an easy gunfight that should have been one that we lost. I mean, we did run out of ammo, to be fair, but, I mean, we wouldn't have run out of ammo if our, if our shots had been on point. But anyways, that's given us a good opportunity to try and win a gulag. In this state. I think they're uh, pushing around like I can hear them. Yep. Stun never connected. There we go. Nicely done, that felt that felt fine. Felt comfortable. And we have spawned all the way over here. Damn, I wanted to be back into downtown, but I guess maybe we can go for this bounty. And uh, just while we're flying back in here, folks, this gives me a good opportunity to also just talk about my feelings and opinions on, on the matter of aim assist. I, I just I just think there is such oh fuck, there's a player right here. Brilliant. Oh no! Oh, wait, there's a gun here. Oh shit, no. Wait. Did somebody somebody sniped him? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, right, let me just lock myself in here and talk about my thoughts. In fact, give me that sniper and I'll do this guy. No, I won't. I won't. You you won't do any anything like that. Oh shit. I'm just trying to have a conversation here! Oh my god, Twitch XO Wii. Anyways, yeah, I, I think aim assist is totally necessary for controller players because you just, with, with analog sticks, you just don't have that much, um, like, you, you can't be as precise as a, as a mouse. As a mouse, you can point it exactly where you want it. With an analog stick, you're always, you're always, like, guessing and adjusting. You've not got that same range of motion. There's a player on top of me right now. Fuck. So, yeah, it's, it's absolutely necessary. I need to leave this building, but I feel like I'm just going to have my head sniped clean off when I do. I want it to be here so bad, it's, it's freaking me out being in there. What class do we get? Uh, just get a high alert. I learned and get a, st a stoner and a sniper. Talking about uh, snipers though, actually, some people may forget that uh, certain uh, developers turn aim assist off for snipers in Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer, they're making Vanguard, actually did it in World War 2. So, there you go. That was a bit of a tough one. Nah, did not see it coming. Could play that with the daddy. And I've been rewarded via an orange box. I've been spoken about snipers though. I don't really want to snipe. Not in this game anyway. But yeah, I've always just thought if you put the best mouse and keyboard player in the world up against the best controller player, I think the best mouse and keyboard player wins nine times out of ten. And that's nothing against the controller player. It's just, like I said earlier, there's just much more range of motion on a mouse compared to some sticks. They're right on the buy right now. And they are... Oh my god. 
stun and everything and we still manages to do it. Mouse and keyboard players say stun grenades help aim assist too much. I don't think that's really a, an argument for or against aim assist. That's more a, a game balance kind of thing in my opinion. Oh my god, he read it. He read it. He read it. Shit, he read it. That's my bad. That's my bad. He read the play. That's a sweaty customer. Z League have sponsored another video here because they know there's some Warzone demons tuning into this who haven't yet dipped their toes into the competitive scene. And Z League, the world's first skill based Warzone tournament platform, is the best place to get started. And the beauty of Z League is even if you aren't a demon and your KD is 0.5, you can sign up for free and paid tournaments to compete for prizes against players of a similar skill level level as you. Honestly, having had the privilege to play in some big tourneys, there's just such a thrill when competing and pushing for the win. And thanks to Z-League, players of all skill levels have the opportunity to compete. And here's how it works. Z-League uses a ranking algorithm built by a Harvard-trained engineer that analyzes your Warzone stats to place you up against opponents of a similar skill level. So you'll always have a fighting chance at getting the win. Every game, every matchup counts. The scoring system works like other Warzone tourneys with points acquired through the number of kills and placement with the kicker being the Z-League tracks your performance for you so no need to be streaming or submit screenshots to admins. It also has its own anti-cheat built in so you can rest assured the competitive integrity remains intact and like I say the platform handles all of this for you whether you're on console or PC. Check out the link in the description and get involved in one of the 50 plus paid and free entry solos, duos, trios and quads tourneys hosted every week which includes free entry tournaments where you can win cash prizes. Good luck and now let's get back into the action. Right, let's try this no aim assist nonsense again. Now we know what to expect. Now we're sufficiently warmed up. We can make some slight adjustments to our, to our accuracy, to our aim. And hopefully break the 10 kill barrier. I think that would be a good uh, performance. I'm Honestly, I'm not asked about the win. I'm honestly a little interested in seeing if I can snipe as well. The right there, player landing in here. <laughs> Let's just double check. Uh, controller. Uh, no aim assist on <laughs> that quick scope. Oh no! Oh, my armored him! Fuck! Oh, <laughs> if I wasn't checking that for you, I would have hit that guy probably. Oh, god damn it. Right, anyways. It's kind of a. That was a difficult gun to control, not gonna lie. Could have been easier than that. But, I mean, we got the job done at the end of the day. Oh, you're up there. Blue dead. Oh, somebody actually. Right here. Dead. Come on. See, I know, I know it's, it's... I'm at the risk of jinxing myself here, but now, now that I've had a game to warm up and I've adjusted, I, I feel all right now. That Type 63 was a, it was a little bit rough because just because of the nature of the gun, but apart from that... Oh, there's somebody in there. There we go. He's just put like a C4 down or something. Actually, hold on. I'm going to hit this guy with some movement. Some serious movement. Oh, shit. You better not have seen me there. Take two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finally, a kill. It's crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's pure bait. That's pure fucking... I bet that was that guy that parked that there. Usually at this point I would get a self-revive folks since it's uh since it's solos, but honestly this game has been so dry. Just give me a UAV, please. Please give me an enemy. Yes, thank god. Folks, I honestly did not mean to camp in this game, but you know that way sometimes it just just kinda happens. Can I get a shot in this SUV with it being torn apart? There we go. Dead. Just a down actually. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes you just end up in this scenario. And I just want to say at this stage, there's probably going to be about 10,000 new people here. And if you like Warzone, please do hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see your thoughts in the comments below as well. Uh, where you lie on the aim assist, uh, controller versus mouse and keyboard debate. Get me on that. Oh shit, somebody's looking at me. No. No, get off. No. Oh. What a move, what a move, what a move. They won't see it coming, they won't see it coming. They're not in here. And then we looked at it. Somebody did come that way. Somebody's in the gas there. I was being looked at, yep. 
You're in the gas. You can't come out. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh shit! No! 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 Plate up. Use all that gas mask. Get in the car. And dip. He's just struck me right. This is a this is a bit of a gamble here. Bit of a gamble. Use the zip line. Airstrike isn't getting me. Is he waiting on me? That is the question. Is he going to see that play? He hasn't. He hasn't seen the play. Get out played. Is there anybody else on the... No! Was there really that much of a difference? I could I could play more and try and get another game, but I wanted to give you an honest, true reflection um, of how it feels to play uh, without aim assist. And the truth is, it does make a difference, but it should because... We're playing on controller.